stay tuned for a giveaway. Since the addition of stickers to CSGO in February of 2014, they have been a massive part of the skin's economy, with some sales even peaking at over $80,000 just for one. But recently, there have been some very significant changes to applied sticker slots and sizes that no one is talking about. Why is this sticker over 10,000 square pixels bigger than this one in the same slot? And why will you never be able to get a Titan Hollow this large again? Let's dive in. Before I get into it, today's sponsor GamerPay wants to sponsor you with a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro deposit. GamerPay is an extremely trustworthy peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website where you can find some of the cheapest CS2 skins on the market. Take a look at this MAC-10 Fade for example, currently the cheapest one is on GamerPay. GamerPay has no buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee and you can even sell your skins on a trade lock. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to claim your free 5 euros today. For the entirety of Counter-Strike's history, it has been notoriously difficult to calculate the price of skins with already applied stickers. I could create an entire video about the different criteria, but one of the most important is the position. Prior to the recent update that added complete sticker freedom and a fifth slot, all we had on every weapon were four default positions to choose from, with a select few that had five. For the casual player, these slots were trivial and largely unimportant. As trading evolved and sticker prices skyrocketed, people began to care more which led to Steam guides for the most desired positions. One of the most popular position guides for CSGO was this one created by Steam user Pinksy. The guide showed a color-coded visual representation of the most desirable sticker slots for each weapon and also clearly showed the sticker slots that had a size difference. Yes, you heard that right, a size difference. Part of the appeal for specific sticker slots on certain weapons was the fact that some slots made the stickers visibly larger than in the other positions. In CSGO, there were 14 weapons that had sticker slots with noticeable size changes, with the P90 having the largest sticker position in the game. It makes sense that the larger positions were more desirable because who would want their $80,000 Titan Hollow reduced to a grain of blue sand on the body of their skin? This brings me to the other day. My friend Scuttle and I were in a Discord call and he randomly alerted me to the fact that the massive P90 sticker slot is no longer obtainable. I quickly started doing research and found out that he was right. And not only was this true for the P90, but for most of the other weapons with sticker position size differences as well. Valve largely removed the possibility for different size stickers in the update, but I quickly noticed that this was not properly represented in Pinksy's updated CS2 sticker position guide. So let me show you every sticker position and size change made after the update and some other discrepancies I noticed in the guide. I'll leave out all the ones that had no change from CSGO to CS2. By the way, and this should go without saying, I'm not throwing any type of shade at Pinksy at all. It's totally understandable to make some mistakes as this is such a new implementation. Heck, I'm sure I'll even make a few in this video. That being said, here are all of the changes. Some of these are insane. The first weapon with sticker size differences in CSGO was the FAMAS. If we take a look at Pinksy's Legacy Guide, you can see the sizes clearly represented. Slots 1, 2, and 4 are the same size, and slot number 3 is noticeably bigger. Before I continue, it's important to clarify that these numbers are technically the position ranks for desirability, but since they're labeled numerically, it makes them easier to refer to while talking, so just because I call a slot by the number shown does not mean I agree or disagree with its rank. I'm going to hold off on my opinions about the position ranks until the end, and you'll see why. If we take a look at this 4x craft that was made prior to the update, you can clearly see the size difference. Now, if we take the same sticker and scroll through the new CS2 presets, you can clearly see that all of them are the same size and that the two slots closest to the stock are now in entirely new positions. This is correctly represented in Pixie's new guide. Next up, we have the M4A4. As you can see in the legacy guide and on this M4 that was crafted in CSGO, slot number one is clearly bigger than the other three. But if we take a look at this craft that was made after the update, it's clear that the size sizes are now the exact same. Just for more evidence, I took a screenshot of the Legacy Craft and used the ruler tool in Photoshop to measure the size difference between slots 1 and 3. Slot 1 was 20 pixels taller and 17 pixels wider than slot 3. Then I did the same thing with the new CS2 Craft and slot 1 and 3 were the exact same size. This is not clearly represented in Pink CS2 Guide as slot number 1 is still shown as bigger than the rest. Next up we have the uh, <clears throat> sorry, the AUG. In CSGO, slot number 2 was sizably bigger than the other three. According to the ruler tool in Photoshop on the Outsiders Hollow from Antwerp 2022, slot number two was 27 pixels taller and 24 pixels wider than slot number four. In CS2, however, as you can see clearly on this 4X Lin Vision craft, all four slots are the exact same size. Again, this is inaccurately represented in the new guides that I found. All right, boys, this week I'm giving away an Outsiders Hollow from Antwerp 2022. To enter, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let
let me know what you think about these sticker changes. Also, just put your Steam trade link in your YouTube bio so I can send you the sticker when you win. Next up, we have the MP7. As you can see in the guide and in-game, slots 3 and 4 were clearly much smaller than the other two. But if we again use the same Outsiders Hollow and scroll through the new MP7 presets, they're all the exact same size, but even more surprisingly, slot number 3 doesn't even exist anymore. This is very inaccurately represented in Pinksy's guide, as the slots shown are incorrect as well as the sizes. Just to clarify, if you're confused about the ghost crown shown in what is actually the new default position, in the guide, the ghost crowns are labeled as popular custom positions. But in this case, this isn't a custom position at all. It's actually the new default position since they completely got rid of slot number 3. Next up is the MP5 SD. In CSGO, you can clearly see that slots 1 and 2 were smaller than 3 and 4. Now in CS2, instead of 4 default positions, they added 2 more making it 6, and all 6 slots are the exact same size. The MP5 is the only weapon in the game with 6 default positions. Nice one, Valve. This is accurately represented in Pixie's Guide. Next up, and easily the most drastic change from CSGO to CS2, is on the P90. As you can see on the Legacy Guide and in-game, slot number 1 is much larger than the other 3. Slot number 1 on the P90 was actually the largest sticker position in the entire game. According to Photoshop with the Antwerp 2022 Outsiders Hollow, slot 1 was 39 9 pixels taller and wider than the other three. If we take a look at this new Lin Vision Craft, you can see that the big default position is completely gone and was moved to the far left of the weapon. And now all four slots are the exact same size. This is accurately depicted in Pinksy's Guide. This gun alone was the entire motivation for this video, and it got me thinking, what does this mean for Cato Crafts? On CS Float, I found out that the large P90 position is considered slot 4, so I checked all P90s with Titan Hollows in that slot and found that there were only 55, some of which being banned. I don't see Valve reverting these changes anytime soon, so does that mean there will forever only be around 50 oversized Titan Hollows? Surely these will become collector's pieces. I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on one. Next up is the P2000. In CSGO, slot number 1 was noticeably bigger than the rest as you can see on this ocean foam, but I couldn't figure out an accurate way to measure as the two leftmost on the barrel are cut off and the one on the handle is angled. That being said, when you scroll through the positions in CS2, you can clearly see the stickers are the same size. If anything, at first glance, position number 1 actually seems to be smaller now, but I'm pretty confident that they're the same size because of what happens when you drag it from slot 1 onto the barrel. The barrel slots being bigger is an illusion since it gets cut off. Again, this is inaccurately represented in the updated guide as it still shows slot number 1 being much bigger. The same exact thing is true for the P250 and the 5.7. Here's a comparison between an old and a new P250 craft. And here's the difference between an old and a new 5.7 craft. And here's what the guides show. Clearly, these are a bit off. Next up, and quite similar to the other pistols, is the CZ-75. Slots 1 and 4 here used to be slightly bigger than the rest, as you can see on this old craft. Taking a look at a new craft though, this looks much different. It seems to me that Valve used to make the positions on the barrel of the pistol smaller so that the stickers would fit and you'd see the entire thing. But now they've made it so all of the slots have uniform sizes, which unfortunately means that things will be cut off in certain spots, giving us the illusion that they're actually bigger than they are. When in reality, all four of the stickers are actually the same size now. Again, this is falsely represented in the updated guide. Next up, and probably the weirdest one on the list, is the R8 Revolver. This is one of the weapons that has always had 5 default positions, but I'll ignore the awkward upside down one on the back for this comparison. If we take a look at a Legacy Craft, it's actually kind of hard at first glance to determine which ones are bigger than the others. I compared the far left position with the far right position as they look to be the most different in size to find out that there's just a 1 pixel difference. This was actually inaccurately represented in the Legacy Guide, which made it seem like position number 1 was the biggest and that number 3 was the smallest. But if we take an Outsider's Hollow and scroll through the positions now, you can clearly see that the spot on the cylinder is much smaller than the rest. It's most easily noticed by doing this. The size of the other three spots were corrected on the updated list, but you can clearly see the cylinder slot is still shown as bigger than it actually is. Next up is the Nova. As you can see, there used to be three sticker positions of the same size on the side of the body and one on the spine that faced the player which was much smaller. Now in CS2, they removed the spot on the spine and instead added a position on the stock that's the same size as the rest. This is accurately represented in the updated guide. By the way, the spine position used to be the least desirable because it's largely covered by your thumb in first person, but do you think the removal of it will make it more desired. Next up is the XM1014. As you can see, the leftmost position used to be quite a bit smaller than the rest, but if you take a look at the new positions in CS2, you can see that they're all uniform. This is inaccurately depicted in the updated guide as it still shows the leftmost spot being the smallest. Lastly, we have the sawed off. 
Here you can see on this legacy craft that slot number 4 was quite a bit smaller than the rest. In CS2 however, if we scroll through the new positions you can see that these stickers are now the exact same size. The new guide does not properly depict this either. The only other thing that I wanted to mention is the addition of a 5th preset slot on the USPS and the M4A1S. There weren't position changes or size changes to the 4 that existed before, but as you can see in Pinksy's guide, they now each have a 5th preset. Alright boys, that was a lot, but after seeing and hearing all of these changes, I'm sure it started to become a apparent to you that the likelihood of a lot of these position rankings still being correct is slim to none. So Scuttle and I have been talking about it and we've decided that we're going to make a complete comprehensive sticker position guide in the near future. We'll go through all of the legacy positions as well as the new default positions and come up with a fair ranking system combining the two. In the meantime, drop your thoughts on this in the comments, I'm really curious what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.